Hey everybody. Uh, for those of you who are fans of a certain video game franchise, you'll pretty much know exactly what this is. For those of you who don't, allow me to tell you. This is a kunai, and it is an ancient uh, Chinese and Japanese farming tool. That's right, it's not a weapon. It is originally a farming tool. It was meant to be used as a trowel. It was also meant to be used as uh, an implement for rubbing mortar over bricks. It was never designed as a weapon, but uh, it did end up getting used in some cases in ninja culture. And obviously with the dawn of a certain video game franchise again and a very certain character, this has uh, taken on a life of its own and now everybody assumes that this is a bladed throwing weapon. Even when it is used as a weapon, it was never meant to be thrown. It was meant as a stabbing or thrusting tool. So, again, uh, basically Scorpion made this into his throwing spear and everybody's never looked back since. So what I've done with this guy is um, I've sanded it down to this point and uh, thought I'd give you a basic look and then walk you through a couple of the points, a couple of the uh, methods that I used and then we're going to pardon this, but finish him. <laughs> so what I've done, I had some old uh, flooring. I found this, once again, it's not dumpster diving. I found this in the loading dock one day. I found probably 15, 20 pieces of the stuff. And I thought, oh, that's really cool. I can make picture frames or something like that. And once again, I sat on this pile for ages, didn't know what to do with it. And then uh, finally pulled it out a couple of days ago and decided I'm going to do something with it. And originally I was making a dagger and then all of a sudden I thought, you know what? Let's go with this. This is probably a bit cooler. So I took the wood and I drew myself a little stencil. As you can see there, I just roughed out the measurements. Basically, I wanted it to fit in my hand uh, like a dagger. So it's just big enough for my hand right here. And then you've got the blade on top and then you've got the ring at the bottom to attach a rope to. So that was my basic idea. I wanted it about a, uh, I think it was uh, three to one or three to two measurements in terms of the blade to the handle. And as you can see, that's that. And then for the handle, funny enough, the handle and the ring, I use this pair of scissors. I put that down there, trace the whole thing onto the, onto the flooring, and then cut this with my scroll saw over there until I got that. And then I took this to the grinder. And as you can see, I've sort of beveled down the edges there. I haven't made it sharp on the sides. Apparently the uh, the actual kunai is not supposed to be sharp on the sides either. Because again, it was a, originally a tool, not a weapon. So you didn't want this for cutting, although the point was always sharp. So that's to there. I've gone through my usual range of sandpaper. And as I was digging through uh, some of the new stuff I got for my stepbrother, I found some belt sander. Uh, I think this one was... 428 so that's higher than anything I've had so far so I was going to give this a once over and try wet sanding so I've got my spray bottle of water here so I'll just give it a quick spray and go over it and when you do wet sanding you do get a much smoother finish than just leaving it with dry I've done this a few times now, and there is quite a difference. You're not taking much off, but it just, it makes all the fibers of the wood sit down really nice. And also by doing the wet, you can see the grains are starting to pop out a little bit more. So originally what I wanted to do with this was to paint it, uh, I was going to take some of my Creek Clay paint mix and I was going to paint it all gray and then maybe get a little bit of a, a matte shine on top of that. But I was looking at this wood and I really like the color of the grain. So basically all I'm going to do is finish sanding this off 
And then I think I'll take the mineral oil off and just give it a bit of a shot with that. So that way, I mean, again, it's not a steel blade, so why am I trying to make it look like steel? I'll just keep it the way it is. And I've got something that really, you know, this can turn into a display piece. I can hang this in my office. I don't think my wife would let me hang, hang it at the door for all the neighbors to see. So, that's that. And yeah, it's come out really smooth. It's really nice. I might play with that again a bit later. I'm not going to make you sit here and watch me do sanding for 20 minutes. But that's, again, the basic technique behind that. So it's got a nice shine on it now. And then, just very quickly, I'll give this a once over. The only unfortunate part is, well, as you saw, the flooring, it had this on the top, this sort of uh, lacquered finish, and then the raw side on the bottom. So that's why you can see a difference there. Uh, I have to stick this through my planer, and that was what was underneath the finish there. So it's not quite as smooth, it's not quite as nice to look at. I mean, it's still some kind of uh, plywood. But if I'm hanging this on a wall, that will be the decorative side, that will be the side against the wall, so you won't even see that. And while I'm sanding this, you're noticing that I'm only doing the top. This part's going to be covered in a second, and this part's going to be covered in a second. I'm not too worried about them. It's just... Obviously, like I said, the, the top bit is the important part. The blade part is the important part. So... Let's give that one more time. I will probably take it off the wall at some point. Somebody will come over and somebody will say, ooh, what's that? And I'll take it down and show it to them. So it can't be completely raw, but... I mean, again, I've, I've beveled both sides. I've spent quite a bit of time sanding this thing. Probably a couple of hours. So it is... pretty well polished. That'll do for now. So, that bit's done. We're gonna hit it with some oil. We'll see what it looks like after that. If I don't like the look, I guess I can come back and I can give it some, uh, some stain. I'm hoping. Yeah, that actually looks pretty good. I like that. It's got a nice shade to it, very natural. I don't know what kind of wood this was, but it looks really nice. It didn't look like the cheap flooring anyway. And these black marks that you can see in here, that was actually me going at it with the grinder, but I think that adds a bit of character as well, so I'm kind of happy with that. So, give it the shine, give it a bit more, and we're just about ready to finish it. I don't know, do I owe money to them for saying that? Don't tell anybody. Oops, as I'm putting it down here on the set, on the, I got sawdust all over the table now. Wipe that. And that is ready to go. So what I've done now is, this is an old t-shirt I've pulled apart. This is just the, uh, the bottom seam off an old t-shirt. And I've soaked this in uh, 
Coffee grounds or tea bag? I think it was tea bags. I took three tea bags and stuck it in boiling water and then stuck this in one of these jars and left it for a day, I think. And it came out this color, which I'm kind of happy with. And then basically all I'm going to do here is I'm going to put the uh, the nice bit right there. I'm going to pull it tight, twist it. Actually, no, that's not the way I want to go. I want to go the other way. I'll start at that side. I'm going to pull it tight, I'm going to twist it, and then I'm going to pull it again. I'm going to do that all the way down. And hopefully that's going to come out looking really good. pulling at the right spot and anybody who's ever gripped tennis racket squash racket baseball bat anything like that I guess would have a little bit of know-how on how to do this better that's not too bad I don't need it to be perfect it's supposed to be a farmer's tool so I don't think the farmers spent too much time saying "Ooh, this has got to look just right for the camera but I think I need to pull it tighter Not quite tight enough. There's one more loop I can get out of that. So if I pull it really tight. And I guess this is one of those videos that will probably do better with me having a voiceover because you don't really practice how long this is supposed to take but no that's not you can always do something like that Just have something now. If I pull it over the side, wait for it, wait for it. Another couple of hours. I'm gonna stab myself in the leg trying to get this thing on here. There we go. Ha ha! Success! And that actually looks pretty cool the way it's wrapped around now. Looks like a glorified beer bottle opener. So that's done there. Give you another shot of that. Looks pretty rustic. And now to make it like scorpions, I've got some rope. And this is another little side day project I've wrapped it on. I'll just unwrap this and I can show you. I found some really cool bark that had a very soft inner layer to it. And I'll probably do a video about that. But that's what I did with that. The bark just peeled really nice. It came off beautifully. And this is again being treated with the mineral. We've got another one over here that I did. I'm sure some people will recognize what that is. That's untreated. This is treated. 
see a slight difference this one's a bit darker uh, but lots of fun to play with pretty easy to do like I said I mean you just put the knife in this stuff carves like butter it's great so back to the uh, main point of today and we're gonna take that and I think probably just throw it over there I'm not too good with with knots so we'll just I'm gonna pull that over Anybody's got a better idea, you can let me know in the comments. But we got there we go. So I'm trying to adjust for the camera again. Uh, so that's around the back. I'm gonna take it once around the front. And then we'll I was thinking about this beforehand and I did have a rough idea and now I've just completely lost it. I was going to go once around the front and then you can probably go up in there. And then that just pulls tight. Yeah, there we go. Something like that. So we'll set this down. Pull that tight. And then I will wrap that over and over and over. And then I'll take that back through there and down through. Oh yeah, I'm getting fancy now. Something like, yes. No. I don't know. It's a knot, it's not going anywhere, but at the same time, it might look a little sloppy with this little piece out the back. So, it's probably another thing I can fix. Let's just pull that apart now. That a couple more goes, stick that through there, pull it up higher before I tighten it. And not tighten it before I pull it. That'll go through there, okay. Things you need to work out before you do the video, right? There. Okay, we'll go with something like that. That actually kind of looks decent. And it's not going anywhere. I don't think it's going anywhere anyway. So that's it. You got that, and you got that, and I would swing it round, but I'll probably break something, so probably not going to do that. But uh, here's my little Mortal Kombat Scorpion Kunai. Let me know what you think. Talk to you later.